The National Hurricane Center has labeled this tropical wave in the Atlantic a high chance of development over the course of the next seven days. And even as we go ahead in the weekend through early next week, this could be called Gabrielle. Now, here's the thing. There is a lot of things out there on social media, a lot like uh, kind of this post right here or this image you see right here of a major hurricane off the coast of Florida. I'm going to explain what that is right here and what it means in that long range forecast. My goal of this update is to not hype, but to inform and educate so you can make informed decisions as we continue to track the tropics here. So let's get into it. And first of all, yeah, there's our area out here in the mid-Atlantic. It does have that 90 percent chance of development over the next seven days but here's the thing in the near term it's not terribly organized and you can actually it's kind of hard to even see right here you see the broad circulation right in there with this tropical wave it does have plenty of convection around it it is still getting bombarded by a bit of dry air just off towards the north but it is feeding in with moisture down towards the south some guidance does show this strengthening as it moves off towards the west while others kind of almost have have it fizzling out. So there is still a broad amount of uncertainty. We don't have a tight load level center at this point. Thus, we don't have a tropical depression yet. So I, something I want you to keep in mind. We always want to look at those initializing factors before we get into the forecast. Now, one on the initializing factor is how far south this is developing, if it does develop. Uh, take Compare that up with the track from Aaron here. It developed a little bit further towards the north, and thus we had a higher confidence of a recurvature type scenario. This one looks further towards the south and more than likely is going to impact the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, how strong that impact would be is uncertain, but at least a increase in rainfall as we go ahead into next week. But just showing you kind of our spaghetti plots. Remember, this doesn't show you intensity nor size of the storm, just kind of that low level center. But even the initialization of the guidance is not terribly accurate because we don't have a hurricane hunters out there just yet, nor do we have um, a defined low level center. You compare GFS versus the European, and you might notice that the GFS also is strengthening this and sped it up and even showing more of a likely to have a recurvature scenario but see this little kind of circle right here the euro actually has this slowing down quite considerably and not developing terribly fast if at all in the near term so something else i want to stress to you both the models are not screaming a full-on storm system doesn't mean you have to ignore this I mean, you take a look at the GFS right here, kind of showing the latest run with almost a recurve type setup here, at least in the, the last run we have. But here's another thing. It has to overcome a lot of dry air. I alluded to that just a second ago. It has a lot of dry air towards its north. That's the Saharan dust. You can see that here in the red. And if you take a look at some of our spaghetti plots, it really is just encompassed by that until it gets out towards the Caribbean. And then it starts to kind of fend off a little bit of that dry air. And it begins to move into an area of warmer sea surface temperatures. So if we've seen this actually strengthen, it probably wouldn't be until like strengthen into a tropical storm or hurricane if it did do that it wouldn't be till about the mid part of next week so the key things i want you to remember is still a lot of time to watch this plenty of warm sea surface temperatures ahead of it but models have been showing something at least developing the intensity is still uncertain but we are nearing the peak of hurricane season i promised i was going to talk about this right here though a gfs kind of showing this uh, a large storm off of the east coast of florida and let's pull back the picture and this is from the weather app windy just kind of giving you an idea and the gfs shows that all right now, I only show that because I'm going to show you the ensemble. So basically, this is breaking down that model. And what you see there with that long range outlook is the model averaging out on the 17th to the 18th, all the different ensemble model members here. And look at this. See all these circles off towards the east of Florida and towards the west of Florida? That's the low pressure centers within the ensemble runs. And smack in the middle would be just off the east coast of Florida here. So so the ensembles are spread quite drastically. There's very little confidence. So when you see something like this with little to no explanation behind it, um, I just want to remind you that that long range ensemble, there's low confidence. We're looking at 300 hours out. Typically, there's low confidence. So there's definitely plenty of uncertainty in that extended forecast. And, and especially, especially given the fact that this is still not quite developed just yet. 
So yeah, once again, we are nearing the peak of hurricane season. If we did have a storm system out in the Atlantic, it wouldn't be much of a surprise. The peak is on September 10th. This would be around September 10th that we could see a named storm. So nothing to be spooked about, nothing to be too terribly worried. But of course, we're going to continue to keep you posted out here. Also, by the way, I do want to remind you, we have Hurricane Kiko, which is heading towards the Hawaiian Islands. Um, you know, typically when we have a storm like this and it does enter dry air, air as in nearest Hawaii, they typically dissipate out. So it could be a tropical storm near the big island, but uh, this being a major hurricane as in nearest Hawaii is highly, highly unlikely. I just wanted to add that on here uh, to this update. So as always, if you have any questions, shoot me a message. And uh, once again, my goal with this is just to inform, educate, and keep you posted to try to dispel some of the worry and hype we are seeing even already around this area. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta.